Well, all right, everyone, welcome back to the beautiful world of Sons of the Forest. Today, we've got Virginia here looking good with two guns in her hands. All, how many hands does she have? Three? And all three of her hands. And now, today, I think the plan is to just kind of focus on our base out here and just building around it, potentially expanding it as well, and setting up a bunch of traps and things like that so that we are more prepared for when the cannibals and the mutants come in. Now, step number one, would be to get rid of these things. Oh, that is disgusting. Is that a skull with a bunch of fingers? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's take out our axe. Take that down. Grab that skull. At least we can make use of some of this. But yeah, I think I'm going to put some traps down. I've only got like, what, three of them down? Oh, there's a blind guy right there. More and more mutants are just randomly wandering around my camp. I'm not sure why. Oh, I think all of these are sprung. Okay, so yeah, these are the three traps that we have. I don't know if I'm going to mess with this blind guy at all. He's just kind of hanging out. Hey, Calvin, don't be too loud. We've got company. And Virginia, maybe don't shoot them. At least not right now. Well, when they become a danger, then I'll ask her to start shooting. But for now, like I said, we got those three traps. And then let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's take out this last one here. Just another finger skull. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to expand the base a little bit. I think maybe we build out backwards. So that way it'll give us a lot more space. Even if we just go out one kind of square all the way across the back, that'll really kind of open things up and allow us to actually add some more storage, which is what I want to do. Because right now we've got just one shelf, but it's completely full. So I want to add some more storage. We're going to need to add some more beds for Virginia and Kelvin. And then we have to flip this door. You guys let me know that that was in backwards and I never changed it. Sorry, Virginia, can't come in right now. But if I open up my bag here and then I grab one of these sticks, we can now lock it. So if we do that, now no one can get in and I can't get out. Let's go ahead and unlock it. And I think we can use that, I guess, at night, maybe. I don't know. Maybe when the cannibals or mutants come in. Last episode, we had one of the giant mutants come in and open up the door. And I was almost trapped for a second. But I was able to kind of sneak out. But at the very least, I guess if we need to go inside, recover a little bit when we're under attack, we can lock the door from the inside now. Oh, hey, Virginia. What you doing? You gonna hang out by the fire? Or just walk into the corner. Anyway, I suppose step number one, like I said, is to start expanding out here. So we're going to have to take out this wall. And you know what? Let's throw these down. And I'm going to make another log storage. But I'm going to put it right next to my base here. Just for the time being while I'm building. So we'll put the large log storage, I guess. Let's see here. Let's put it off over here. Just put it right there. Throw in all of our sticks. Kelvin, buddy, come here, come here, come here. We're going to need you to get sticks and drop here, please. Even though I could probably do this relatively quickly. We got to give him something to do. So let's head over here. We've got a stick storage. I don't think there's much in it. No, there's not. There's only four. Okay. Well, hopefully Kelvin's gathering a bunch right now. It looks like he's going off. And uh, hopefully dropping some off where I asked him to. But we'll get a few here. Maybe we won't get any from that bush. Now, I don't know how many sticks we can carry on us at one time. We started out with zero. And if we look in the bottom left, we're tracking how many we actually need for this build. And right now we're at 10. We'll see how many we can actually pick up here. I'm guessing it's not going to be 35, but it should be quite a bit. Okay, so it actually looks like 20 is our max. That's actually quite a bit, so I'm not going to complain about that. And Kelvin, oh, I guess I could have just told him to finish this build. But yeah, you keep bringing these over here, and I, I don't know how many he's bringing, but hopefully it's enough to finish this. All right, we need 15 more. How many are you going to drop here, buddy? Probably five. Yeah, five. Okay. You know what? Come here. I need you to clear out 10 meters around. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Wait, does that also clear out trees? Maybe we don't have him do that. Come here. I need you again. No, nope, he doesn't want to listen to me. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, he is going to chop down trees. 
Uh, just get some sticks and fill the holder. And then while he does that, I'm going to chop down a few more of these small trees. And then we should have enough here. Oh, didn't mean to hit that tree. But we've got, wait, am I not picking really any up? I only have three. Here we go. Hold on, Virginia must have seen someone. She made a noise and started pointing over here. Oh. It was a stick? You're giving me a stick. Well, I appreciate that, but I kinda have Kelvin on the job. You want me to follow you? I've followed her several times now. Each time it seems like she just gets bored and or confused and she just gives up, like right now. And she, you don't, don't point that gun at me. All right, let's finish this little uh, log holder. Not little, it's a large log holder. And then we're gonna get back over to Kelvin and I'm gonna see if he can just start chopping down trees and fill that bad boy up. Kelvin, stop what you're doing. I got more work for you. Get logs and, oh wait. Um, I don't know what holder he's gonna fill. So hopefully he just fills up both, I guess. We'll find out. I'm n I don't think I've ever had two different log holders. So I think he's probably going to start with the one that he was closest to. Okay, we've got this all opened up. I don't know if we're going to extend the roof out. That's going to add a lot of extra work. So I think for now we just build kind of a rectangular... Hey, get out of here. I have a Virginia and I'm not afraid to use her. But yeah, we're just going to add kind of a rectangular area just for now. Of course, we're going to continue expanding in the future. But right now, everything is for utility. So let's throw that down. Another one here. And then we'll just fill the frame out. It's going to take a little while, but it's going to be made a little bit easier with Kelvin gathering some of these logs. Well, looks like we're starting a war with the monkey men. I'm guessing this one attacked Virginia and that's why she shot. I'm guessing that's why she's all bloodied. Or she shot and splattered blood all over her <laughs> from the monkey man. <laughs> Either way, uh, can we actually just burn the body in here? Oh, never mind. Virginia's in there. I guess this is going to be the designated body burning spot. So let's light this up right here. And then we'll grab some campfire wood. And we'll throw that on. There we go. Oh, can I not? Oh, hold on. I think I need one more stick here. So let's grab that. Throw it on. Yeah, that body's on fire. Throw this on. And one more. All right. Well, hopefully now that we're hiding the evidence, the other monkey men don't find out what we've done to this one. I doubt it. I'm sure they're out here watching us from a distance, probably up in the trees or something. But Kelvin... We have an empty log holder over here. Please fill that up. And now I'm guessing that when I take these out, he's just going to continue filling this instead of filling up the brand new one that I put right over here for building. But anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to get to work on this thing and uh, we'll be done in just a second here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ran into my own trap. I forgot about the turtle shell. That was terrifying. Luckily, it didn't hurt me at all. It just scared the heck out of me. Wait a minute. Can we use this to our advantage? Well, the blind guy's still there. He has no clue what to do. Okay, well, let me try this. Let me see if we can get to our little tree house. Where's this turtle trap at right here? Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. That's actually awesome. Hold on. Do I have any more turtle shells? Please tell me I do. I don't think I do. I just have a turtle head right here. I want to build another one, I think. I'm going to keep this one here. Build another one nearby our little tree platform. 
And that way we can get up really quickly. Either that or right next... Well, I guess I can put it right in between the platform and the house. And whenever we need to take high ground really quickly, we can just jump on that thing and we'll get sent flying. Are there any turtles around here? I'm not seeing any. Sometimes when I show up, there will be some swimming around. But I'm not seeing any right now. All right, well, I reset that trap. I'm going to try not to get distracted again. Uh, the sun is probably going to be going down here pretty quick. So I'm going to try and finish this build. And hopefully we don't get any more interruptions. There we go. We've got it finished. I don't really love how kind of closed in it feels over here. So maybe we do end up expanding out this roof over here because yeah, it just, it just feels really tight squeezed in this area. Now is someone running out here? I hope that's Virginia. It is. Okay. I don't know what she's running from. Hopefully nothing bad, but I'm going to have to move this shelf as well, which means I have to take everything off of here. So maybe I build one before I take everything off because I can't fit all of this in my inventory. So let me grab these two logs here. We'll throw them on the ground. And I can't remember everything that's necessary to make it. It's just a bunch of split logs, if I remember right. Now, this one right here is backwards, and you can tell because the skulls are facing this way. But I don't know how to tell the front from back when I'm placing it. It's just kind of a guessing game. I guess I can place it and then take some skulls. Oh, whoops. Uh, wait, I actually have to build it first, don't I? <laughs> okay. I was going to place some skulls, and those are going to be the indicator on whether or not it's facing the right direction. So we'll put those two in, split this up, and then what was it, half logs? Yeah, three half logs. So let's try and cut this in half, and then one more right here grab three place them all here and there we go all right let's find a skull to throw on here okay it is facing the right way now good so i'm just gonna throw a bunch of things on here just to free up some space in my inventory and then i could clear out the other one and then basically just rebuild it oh wait a minute I thought we were going to take this thing apart when we tried to pick it up, and we can just move the entire thing. Oh my goodness. Does that mean everything would have stayed on it? Let me try really quick. Um, a bunch of stuff fell on the floor because I tried to pick them up, but I didn't have space for them. So let's just throw some cereal on there and try and pick it up now. Okay, no, it has to be empty. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh-oh. We have visitors. Hold on. I'm hearing some weird breathing out here, plus a bunch of footsteps and a gunshot. Okay, Virginia, what's going on? Oh, it's fingers. Oh, it's two fingers. Oh, oh that hurt. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I need to eat and drink. I was putting that off just so I could go to sleep, and then I was going to eat and drink in the morning. But let's drink an energy drink as well as eat some MREs. Oh, actually, I'm good on food now. Let's have one more energy drink. Now, let's take out, I guess, our spear. Stab this guy. Stay back, Virginia. Good shooting. Stop attacking my base. Get him, Virginia. This guy, too. Oh, I gotta be careful. Never had to fight two before. But as long as I can stab him in the knees, I think we're gonna be okay. Plus, Virginia has my back here. She took out one, and I got the other one. Oh. Good job, team. And by team, I mean you, Virginia. Kelvin didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. He's still picking up stones over there. Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Oh, that made it so much easier having Virginia with two guns. Now, speaking of guns, I've been having mixed messages on whether or not I can get another shotgun for myself. So I gave the shotgun that I had to Virginia. So obviously she's been using it. But I've had people tell me that I can go and find it again and I'll be able to use it. And then I've had people tell me that if I do go find it and pick it up and try and use it, Virginia 
loses her ability to use the shotgun. So I, I don't know exactly how it works. I suppose we can test it at some point. I don't know if we'll do that today. Because like I said, I just wanted to kind of focus on the base, put some traps down, which I probably should have put down before the night came. But um, we'll have to worry about that tomorrow. But I got my shelf down. Let me put as much as I can on here. Let's throw some of this ramen and cereal. Because that's a bunch of stuff that I saw on the ground over here. Some cans of food. A couple of MREs. Put the skulls down and they... Oh, they're not backwards. Good. Put a couple air tanks on there too. Because we seem to find those every once in a while. So it's nice to have some extra. Um, We'll put some flares in. I never use the flares. I just... I don't see a point, honestly. Okay, I think that's kind of everything. Let's pick up whatever we dropped over here. Oh, C4 brick. We need to throw some of that on. So let's pick up this ramen. Or some of it, at least. And then we'll throw all of our C4 brick on there. I think we can only carry three at a time. Okay, is that everything off the floor? It looks like it. Uh-oh. We have more company? What's going on? Who was she shooting at? Do you see him? Over here? Oh my gosh! This guy came out of nowhere! Okay. Hold on. So if I take out my pistol, is that going to work? Is she going to lose her ability to use her pistol? No, she still has it. No, this is what you get. Thanks for the spears and the skin pouch. We have any more? Kelvin's over there. He doesn't seem too worried. Okay, well, let's go burn this body. Then I was going to go try to go to sleep for the night before we got attacked one more time. Yeah, I think tomorrow for sure we focus on some traps. Well, all right. Good morning, everyone. We successfully survived the night somehow, some way. And now I think before we go too far, it looks like we got to reset one of our traps right here. Oh, there's the body. Let's go ahead and pick him up. And these look good. I don't think we have to reset them. So we'll go throw this on the fire over here. Oh, you know what? I know I keep getting distracted, but the moose have not been aggressive with me lately. Now, a few episodes ago... What are you doing over here? I guess that's where he's sleeping. See, that was the next step. I was going to build him some beds. But the moose have not been aggressive out here lately like they were a few episodes ago. But a few episodes ago, we were in the fall time of the year. And you guys let me know that apparently in real life, moose get more aggressive. I think that's kind of like their breeding time or something like that, their mating season. And so they're going to be more aggressive and more territorial. And so I wonder if that's actually why they were so aggressive. Because I've been seeing them around here since winter has ended and they don't seem to be randomly attacking. Okay, that one, I don't know what's going on with that one. That one was just a weird one. But yeah, they don't seem to be randomly attacking me like they were before. So I wonder if when fall comes around again, are they going to start getting aggressive and attacking me? If they do, honestly, I think that's a super cool thing that's out here in the forest because I've never seen that, I don't think, in any other survival experience. But anyway, I'm going to stop ranting here. We need to make some beds. And I don't know how fancy your guys' beds are going to be, but they can't be fancier than mine. So I think we're just going to make a stick bed for both of you guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Uh, get out of this. What's going on out here? Was it one of the monkey men? I think it was. I don't see where he went. Well, so long as we got Virginia out here, I think we're going to be okay. At least against the monkey men. But anyway, back to bed building. We've got the double bed. This one's fancy. This one requires a couple of animal fur or skin. And then a couple logs and some tape and a ton of sticks. Do we do that just for the sake of saving space? Oh my gosh, I don't know how much space this saves. I think we would be better off with three stick beds. I think we make this one for ourselves, And then we have two stick beds for Kelvin and Virginia. So let's take this. We'll move it into maybe this corner. We'll rotate it this way. We'll put it right there. We'll place another one right next to it. I love the fact that it's strictly sticks. 
Like, I couldn't even be bothered to add a bunch of leaves on top. That's got to be the least comfy sleeping experience ever. But I don't have to worry about that because I'm going to be sleeping on a nice... Oh, the tree was creaking. I thought it was some cannibal or something growling at me. But I'm going to be sleeping on a nice comfy bed at night with some animal fur. And um, did I see these dead bodies before? Probably. What is going on with this one? Oh, there's like a giant log lodged all the way through. Oh my goodness. No, I don't remember seeing these unless I didn't just ignore them. They're kind of normal for me to see at this point. Oh, hey, Kelvin. Oh, there's another uh, vestige or whatever they're called. But all right, I've got all the sticks that I need, so let's go ahead and finish this bed right here. And there we go. I don't think we have any way of, like, assigning the beds to either Kelvin or Virginia. Let me get this out of here. It's bothering me. You know what? Might as well chop that up into firewood while we're here. Grab that. And probably just place it in here. Keep that fire burning. I think I'm going to try and keep that burning pretty much at all times. Just for the sake of comfort. That way I don't really have to worry about lighting it up at night and things like that. But... I don't know where I'm going. I need to build a fancy double bed for myself. Of course, we already need to expand some more because we're running out of room. But I want to be comfortable at night. So we are stuffing this thing right in the corner as soon as we walk in. Hey, Calvin, that bed's not for you, Virginia. If you're nice to me. Oh, which you are. We can share the bed. Not in a weird way. We're just friends. But all right, I got to get some more sticks. Kelvin, I need your help, buddy. Oh, here we go. We got five here. Kelvin, I need 37 sticks, so you go ahead and get some sticks and fill the holder, please. You got it? Good. All right. Get to it. And look at that. Look at this beautiful bed. Oh, this thing looks so comfy. We even have pillows. I'm guessing those are stuffed with leaves or something like that. But that's going to be good for us to sleep at night. Right next to the fire. Right next to Kelvin and Virginia. Oh, we are sitting good now. All right. Well, next step is traps. So the monkey men are starting to get more aggressive because we have started fighting them. So I'm not a fan of that. So now we have three different types of enemies to attack us at any given time, which they have been. Today we've been attacked by monkey men, cannibals, and mutants. So it's been, uh, <laughs> it's been so much fun. All right, well, let's see if we can get some traps here. Got some animal traps. We got the fly swatter, bone maker, the hokey pokey. I really want to try this thing out. This thing looks amazing. It's going to take, well, actually not that many materials. Six logs, ten sticks, fifteen stone, or rocks, I think, the larger rocks, and three rope. So, where do we put this thing, though? I don't know, just, I guess, right around this area by the large log storage. Put it right here. Throw in whatever we've got, which we need logs first. Do we have any? Nothing here. Kelvin, where are you at? I need you to cut down some logs now. Kelvin, come here. Drop what you're doing. You're going to get some logs, and you are going to fill the holder. We're getting low on that. 
Okay, Kelvin, you don't even know what I said. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we got... Oh, that's a split log right there. But alright, chopping down this one tree should be able to get us enough logs. Oh yeah, plenty. So let's grab these. We'll bring them over here. And how many more do we need? We need two more after this. Yeah, this is going to be a really easy build, I think. There we go. Now add the three rope. All of the stone. We need five more. We're going to have to do some searching, I think. Oh, that's not a stone. That's my trap. That is a lot of fun, though. I don't know why I like landing or walking on that thing, but it is a joy to me. You got to enjoy the little things out here. But anyway, let me make sure I've got the rest of the stone and maybe a little bit extra. Is there any more? One more right there. And then, oh, we need some more sticks. Do we have any in the holder? We do, thanks to Kelvin. Let's grab as many as we need. And I think we have everything for the hokey pokey trap. I really want to see this thing in action. Oh, that thing looks cool. I have no clue. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have turned it. Can I wonder if we can pick it up and turn it. Because I think this ball is going to swing this way. That actually might be okay. But I think it would be better if it was kind of facing this way. And swung in this direction. What do you need, Virginia? Nothing? Okay, she's just making noises. We'll leave it there for now, I think. Here, let's take this out. I don't know if there's any point in taking those out like if that kind of does anything from the perspective of the cannibals But I don't like them being around my base. So I'm taking them out when I see them But what other traps do we have here? We have the silent alarm. We've got the explosive tripwire We're definitely gonna try that out. We've got everything we need for it, which is just grenade wire and a stick So I need to make sure I don't trip over it though. That's the thing Maybe we put it by the hokey pokey trap maybe right here and there we go now let me grab a stick do I have any spare shoot no I don't here let me grab a stick and then I want to kind of mark it I was told though that apparently I don't set off my own traps or at least some of them let me try you know what I'm gonna take some damage potentially oh no, we don't. Okay, cool. So it's just the spring trap right here. Well, that's good. That's a very good news. Because I swear in the past, we set off our own traps. No, I know we did. I set off my own trap that set me on fire so many times. But either way, I'm not going to take any risks. I just want to make sure that I know where this thing's at. So we are going to put a little marker right here. And then I say we put a skull on top. So let's grab one right there, and we will place it right on top right here. And there we go. So now, in theory, I shouldn't hit it, but it's still me out here, so I probably will. Let's just hope it doesn't blow up on us. Now, I'm really curious about this one, though. I picked up a note that showed me how to make this thing. I just have no clue what it is, but it requires four turtle shells, which I don't have any of. So I don't know if we can make that just yet. I think I'm going to put that off for now. And maybe we start getting to work on a wall around this area. But I know this wall is going to take a lot of work because we want a big wall around this entire area. Uh, it might be a little bit ambitious, but I really want to make sure I'm protected and have enough space to not only expand, but just kind of roam freely throughout here and have a lot of different storage places around as well. But yeah, we can only carry two logs at a time. Wait, no, there's a log sled. I can make a log sled, so maybe we do that. But... We can start by putting a log, I guess, right here on the edge. So, <laughs> that's the start of the wall. And we have to kind of place them right next to each other. Like that. And then I think we can take our axe out. And then chop off the top. And that way, I guess, if they try and climb over it, it's hopefully going to hurt them. I don't know if they can climb over it or not. But let's see here. We need that log storage. So where is that? That's the firewood. Here we go. The log sled. For some reason, it needs two skulls, but <laughs> I guess I won't complain about that. We should be okay. Especially since I just burned a body over here. This should be enough. So let's grab everything we need. All the bones are full there, and all the bones storage is full too. But let's throw in everything we have, which we need, I think, lit logs first well uh oh 
We got a fingers right here. Let's try and take him out. Virginia, if you want, you can help, but I could probably take this guy out. Oh, we got babies too. And I just realized I'm pretty oh low on stamina. I'm stuck on a something. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, get away from me. Thank you. Thank you for finishing him off. Now I just got to get these babies. These things are so annoying. They don't really do much damage. They're just annoying. Let's cut this guy up. Virginia will take care of the rest of the babies. And then I should put the skin on his armor as well. Perfect. We've got three pieces of skin armor. I need to pop some pills, which I don't have on me. Threw them all in a storage. So let's go and grab some here. Where are they at? Did I not put any on this one? I thought I did. What about over here? Here we go. I'll take three. I'll consume one, and that should fill us all the way up. Let's eat an MRE. We've got dirty water. Let me see. Can we put our pot on this fireplace here? Oh, no. Can we really not? Oh, no. There we go. Okay. I thought I couldn't, but we're good to go. Wait a minute. We can cook ramen. That is awesome. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I've just been eating dry ramen like a psychopath this entire time. But I guess while that cooks up, I'm just going to drink an energy drink, and then we'll throw our water on after this ramen is done cooking. And I'm wondering if we get any water from the ramen. I mean, it is soup, so in theory we should. But you never know out here. Anyway, Kelvin... You're doing good work out here. I appreciate it. You're really filling this thing out. Let's throw these down. Chop this in half. Chop this one as well. And I think, what do we need? Six of them? Or four? Six, okay. Oh, I guess we don't need them just yet. We had to put two down and then a bunch of sticks. Oh, we need 55 more sticks. go we now have a log sled now how does this thing work I gotta push it oh it's kind of awkward it works it's just a little bit <laughs> a little bit tricky to maneuver around oh my goodness oh I almost got stuck okay let's try and get through here this is so clunky oh my god oh okay it might end up being slower to try and use this thing I'm stuck on the tree Okay, let's try it again. Come on. Yeah, I'm like stuck. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky moving this thing around. It honestly might just make more sense to carry these logs. I don't know if this thing was worth it. I guess we can go kind of fast. So long as we have a straightaway, it's not too bad. But it makes more sense if I'm using this to chop trees that are really far away and then move them all back to the base for the storage instead of moving it from the storage to the log sled over to the wall. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to try it out. I don't want to give up on it right away. But it does hold up to 12. So that's a pretty decent amount. Virginia, please. Thank you. She's great. Don't get me wrong. But can be kind of annoying sometimes. Oh, that's a ton of logs. All right, let's figure this thing out. Let's try and move it all the way to the wall. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the wall done today, but I do want to get a start on it. And then I might put a couple more traps down because we don't really have a whole lot right now. Where did I start that wall at? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't see it. It was blocked by the uh, log sled. Let's move this back a little bit. There we go.
Look at that. We just made a door. I forgot that we could do that. So yeah, I've just been kind of grinding this wall here. Chopping off all the tops, make sure they're nice and spiky. We had one little mutant baby come through, but he wasn't much to deal with. And uh, yeah, I couldn't remember how to make a door. And it turns out you just take one log and there's a diagonal option and it just pops it on there. Well, that's really nice. And I also realized the reason for the skulls. So you can see this at night. That was actually super clever and I'm pretty happy with that. And wait a minute. What in the world? Kelvin? Kelvin, what did you do to our base? Did I make you mad or something? No? Then why did you try and destroy the entire base? <laughs> what? Uh, at one point I heard a bunch of commotion and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just a tree falling. Turns out it was a tree falling on the entire base. <laughs> Kelvin, what in the world, man? Oh my goodness. Um, I think I'm going to try and sleep through the night so I don't have to build during the night time. I hope that we don't get any company in the morning. And I hope we don't lose all of these logs if we go to sleep for the night. Shoot, we might. Oh, I think I'm going to have to repair this at night here. Yeah, Virginia, just walk through it. It's fine. Okay, well, let me try and attempt to repair this. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, well, the base is mostly finished. <laughs> There's a massive gap up there. I had to fill in this area because it would take too long to refinish the roof. So this is what we're left with. Um, I figured out what happened. There was a tree that was basically kind of phasing through our base right here. Kelvin must have chopped that down and it fell on top as well as just destroyed the whole wall right here and then everything else came down with it. And, um, oh. Sorry, Kelvin, let me get that log out of your way so you can sleep on the floor. I made a bed for you. Okay, whatever. That's that's his punishment, you know? That's kind of what he gets. But I'm going to eat some of the ramen that we had cooked up. And by the way, it does give us, or it refills our thirst as well. And it gives us the cooked food buff, which I still don't know what that does. But it looks like Kelvin's going to sleep with his head in the fire, which that's what you deserve. And uh, I think I'm going to go to sleep. Hopefully Virginia ends up joining us at some point. She probably needs some rest, but she might be doing a little patrolling, making sure the area is safe, which I appreciate that. And now she's locked out. So good night, Virginia. Good night, Kelvin. Let's go to sleep. All right. Well, good morning. I'm not seeing any cannibals. I'm not seeing any mutants. So that means today is going to be a good day. But... I think I'm going to call it here. We got a lot of work done around the base, and then we also got set back quite a bit with what Kelvin did, but I'm not going to dwell on that too much. I might end up doing a little bit more work on this fence. I just want to make sure that I knew how to do it, and it looks like I did. I'm going to put some gates around here, make sure that I have some ways in and out whenever I need, and um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to call it here. Hopefully the traps that we've got set up are going to suffice for at least a little while. Like I said, I'll probably put a few more down as well, but I'm going to leave it here for today. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy my time out here. Oh my gosh, my solar panels and my batteries are gone too. Okay, I'm mad at Kelvin again. 
All right, well, before I start thinking about this too much, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Later. Thank you.